Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Azinne Williams. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. If you're new to this channel, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Okay guys, so this is a gist update. We all know there was a basketball last night between Ile Baye and Angel. Yes, and somehow... Cross was dragged into it, according to Venita. Yes, guys. So this morning, Venita was just in Cross about the happenings of last night. You all know Cross. When basketball just they happen for house like this, Cross is always sleeping because Omolomo just wants to relax and have fun in Big Brother's house. So Venita was just in Cross, telling Cross, you know, um, that there was a fight between Angel and Ilebaye because Cross said the only one he was aware of was CC and Ilebaye, the um friction that happened between them about the whole side chick and um, babysitter issue so um venita told him you know that it was so intense that it almost got physical or it actually did get physical because she had like scratches all over her hand because she was trying to like separate the two of them from actually going home or getting disqualified and all that um according to venita um angel told them that ilebae was peeling stuff of the paint stuff into her box, which was open. And she asked Ilebaye to remove, you know, her leg or stop it or something like, like that. And Ilebaye was like, you close your box now. That was, you know, Angel's account on what actually happened. Now, there is also a conflicting account on what happened, which I will tell you later. This is what Angel told Venita and Venita was telling Cross. And Venita said maybe um, she also kind of like did add fuel to the fire because it was at that time that they were in the dressing room that um, Ilebaye was tying her towel. That was when she came and said, oh, Ilebaye, why did you join? jump on cross and kiss him like that now in my head i'm like okay if he lay by jumped on cross and kissed him that means the kiss did not happen in the bathroom because we actually didn't kiss she said that maybe that was part of the thing that made everything to escalate and all that she also said that it was so bad that angel asked for um or wanted to go home for a voluntary exit and cross said that yeah that's angel that angel is a drama queen because i mean that happened in their season you remember that fight with boma that angel you know wanted to go home and cross had to like pacify her in the toilet yes cross you know said the same thing that angel is like that that she's a drama queen you know that she knows what she's doing and venita was like no that she doesn't think she actually did know what she was doing last night and venita also cited you know um ile baye um jumping on cross like i told you guys earlier and cross was like but i'm the one that kissed her ile baye didn't kiss me yes she was in my face like i saw a beautiful you know, girl in my face. I was tipsy. She was tipsy. I was the one that kissed her. And the funny thing here is, Venita really didn't want to agree with what Cross said. And she tried to still make it look like, oh, but she jumped on you. I'm like, ah, women supporting women in the mud. So that was the conversation that um, Venita had with Cross. And on the other hand, there was a conversation that happened between Doyen and Cece. Now, Doi recounted her own experience in the level up season, saying that she felt lonely. She felt like, you know, she didn't have any friends. She cited a fight that happened between her, Shags, Chumzy, and Chichi upstairs, you know, when she was having a conversation with Groovy, and they were like, um, why are you having this private conversation with Groovy? Like, you guys remember that fight, right? And that was when she went into the room, and then um, she started hearing them insulting her, that she knew if she had stood up to go there that she probably would have regretted her actions that day or she probably said you know something that she would regret later but she just you know was lying there listening to them insult her like imagine five people insulting you for no just reason and the crazy thing is that the next morning chi chi came and said i, I said oh doing how are you and all that she now said knowing how she felt then she can understand how ilibaye is feeling at the moment that maybe if big brother had brought more people from her level of the level of season that is the level two people probably she wouldn't be feeling as lonely as she's feeling you know and that was where um doing recounted the whole incident that happened between angel and ilebaye she said according to adekule who was there and you all know adekule and doing are not particularly friends so for doing to actually quote adekule there should be some level of credibility right because adekule was there so she said that adekule was there and saw everything happen 
And according to Adekule, that um, Ilebaye was peeling off the paint stuff and Angel just came and took her leg. As, of course, you know that Ilebaye was wearing her towel. Angel just came and took her legs like that and, you know, removed it. And that was how the whole thing started. And Sissy was like, no, that was not the account. That was not the thing that Angel told us. And Doe was like, nah, Angel was lying. That she was obviously lying. Sissy was like, no matter what, I mean, she should protect her mental health. I mean, this is just the beginning of the game. You know, try to avoid some certain situations. If you know, okay, these people are out for you, avoid them. Sissy also talked about her conversation with Big Brother and how Big Brother told her, okay, if you know that this is, you know, is what is triggering you, um, what is your strategy to avoid it? And she feels like Ile Baye should make extra effort to avoid it because this is just the beginning of the game. You cannot be crying every day and you don't want your mental health to be all messed up in Big Brother's house. From these two conversations, since we actually didn't see what happened, I still maintain that both ladies in my own book are wrong. If at all Angel actually did come and pull out, you know, Ilebaye's like that, like, like that, that was wrong. And Ilebaye had no reason to be peeling out that, you know, um, paint from her leg to somebody's box. That was also wrong. And number two, it's obvious that, like I said earlier, there is no women supporting women in that house. Let them just squash that nonsense they just want to use it to promote a particular person which if you are smart enough you will know so i feel like there's no women supporting women there the women supporting women there is in the mud because see how the narrative was last night that you know ilibaye went to kiss a drunk cross i mean if you actually keep pushing that narrative, it's saying that Ilebe was harassing people. All over Twitter this morning, you, I was seeing, oh, Ilebe is a harasser. She was harassing Cross. Now, Cross has said, no, that's not what happened. I'm the one that kissed this girl. But still, the likes of Venita still don't want to go, you know, they don't want to accept the account. Like, Nami do something. Nami, they tell you, say Nami do am. But you are still wanting to pin it on the lady. So you see how I said, or why I said, that women supporting women is not working. I mean, last, last, we're all hypocrites. Anyways, that aside, there was also a conversation that happened between Neo and Talani Baj. Yes. So Neo was basically telling Talani Baj that that stuff that she did yesterday, which we didn't see, I didn't see, honestly, with Princess, that, I mean, that shouldn't happen. So apparently, Princess dished that food um for she and neo in the same plate like in big brother's house if you start eating in the same plate with somebody that means you're already shipping with a person and neo obviously didn't have an issue with it because guy is also trying to like build alliances from wherever he can get the alliance from so um telling the badge walks there and says i mean what's going on here and of course i think maybe princess reacted or something of that sort and neo felt embarrassed like i mean what is going on like why are you doing this and totally bad was like why why does she want to provoke me like that does she not know that you are my comfort person and neo was trying to let her know you have other comfort people like cross like kid wire and all that and Taliban said, but I mean, you are my bed partner, care this not. I'm like, okay, wahala. From their conversation, all I could get is there was sort of an understanding standing between Ptolemy and Neil before they got into the house. Like, even a blind man can see that there is something between them. Like, they can lie all they want. Ptolemy has always had her eyes on Neil from, like, 2020. We all saw that. If you're a fan of Big Brother, you will know this. So, um, probably they came into the house and said, you know what? Whatever we had outside of the house, we have to cool it down a bit because we hear um, Neo saying stuff like, um, which do you prefer, you know, what is in this house or af life after the house because he is coming into the house not wanting anything. He will just go, you know, as the flow or go with the flow or something like that. So obviously in Neo's head, he's like, okay, we had an agreement. Whatever we had emotionally, we can keep it outside of Big Brother's house. But here we'll play the game, but we'll still guard each other. We'll not nominate each other and all that. But but, I mean, Tolani being a woman, seeing other girls around Neil, obviously that will trigger her. I mean, you saw what she did with Ilebaye. I mean, the kiss with Urel. 
Amen. And now again with princess. And oh, that even reminds me. That also means that Uriah was right. You see, when a woman has her eyes on you, anything that is happening around you, trust me, she will notice. She will turn to FBI, detective, SSS, all of them. Yes, because I mean, we saw Uriah in the diary session yesterday saying, Big Brother should just go and watch. See how princess is hovering all around Neo. And she was proven right. Not because she's, you know, so good at detecting, but because when a woman, like I said, has her eyes on somebody, <laughs> everything that concerns that man, she will know about it. So now, Neo, I mean, Neo is hot cake. Neo World Cup. All the girls, almost all the girls want him. And the funny thing, his cousin does not want anybody around him because in her head, she feels like none of these people are good enough for her precious Neo. But funny enough, she also is sharing a bed with Adze Kunle. And Adze Kunle has come out this morning to say, see, if Ibuka dares to like ask me any question about me and Venita, I'll just say, you know what? Mm. I don't even know. Ask her. Because according to Adekule, he does not know what is going on. Like, he told himself that he's not going to be entering into any ship in that house. That at least he'll give it two weeks. Because he has PTSD from what happened to him in his season, which is like not too long ago. Yes, guys. And he said if he was to have anything, he would give it two weeks and all that. And thank God he actually said that. Because just this morning, he said, they don't, they call him stupid. <laughs> Like, that was a conversation he had with Soma. I think the stupid thing came because um, I think it had to do with Mercy sitting on him and all that. And that was where, you know, Venita was like, oh, you're stupid. But I think maybe Venita didn't mean it like that. Maybe she meant it romantically like, oh, Adekunle, you're so stupid. Maybe that's how she meant it. Not like, oh, you're stupid. Maybe that's how she meant it. And yeah, let's see how this will go. Let's see if Adekunle will cause a rift between the two besties. I doubt out that is venita and mercy i doubt because mercy is a game player obviously and she does not want to have anything to do with these guys if she even tries to me i know saying that game because that girl her head did the game so far in the house some of them are putting two and two together for their wager presentation some of them are just chilling some are cleaning and all that i said you know what let me come and just you guys and give you an update on the things that are happening in the house with your favorite big brother niger housemates what are your thoughts on all this let me know in the comment section on that note i'd like to say a very big thank you to you all for being part of my channel if you have not yet subscribed kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video until i come your way again i remain your darling girl Azine Williams. Have yourself a beautiful, wonderful day ahead.